What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today, I have a breakdown of the new GTA 5 trailer for PS4 and Xbox One. There's a ton of new information in here, and a ton of really cool things that I'm going to point out. So let's jump right into it. To start off, there's a new song in the background, and if you didn't know, GTA 5 for the PS4, Xbox One, and eventually the PC in January will have new songs and even new skits on the radios. I don't know if there'll be new radio stations, it looks like there's just additions to those, but that's a pretty cool added feature. This trailer starts off with the VACA being driven, it looks pretty awesome, and you can see that the textures have been improved. In the next scene you can see Franklin and there is impressive textures to be seen. There's background scenery that we haven't seen before that's quite an improvement and there's also improved character models that you could see. In this scene you can see impressive draw distances. You can clearly see a ton of cars driving on screen, far more than the current GTA 5 on PS3 and Xbox 360 shows and they stay there. It doesn't look like they disappear in the distance which is pretty neat and really just makes the game experience more immersive. And next up you'll see that there are far more civilians which again adds to the immersion of the game and there are far more detailed graphic and textures which are shown again here. As we know from the information rocks are provided, there will now be a lot more wildlife, shrubs, and generally a more realistic environment. This is single player though, and they haven't confirmed if there will be animals in multiplayer yet. A leak earlier shows that it's likely, but again, there has been no details to actually confirm that that's true. Now, if you compare the shot to the exact same spot on the PS3, you can actually see the difference that the new gen GTA 5 makes. In this scene, you can see a new breed of dog. It looks like dogs are going to be far more common in the world of GTA 5. And again, for more detail, it really does look far better than the current GTA that we have. Another example of this impressive draw distance improvements, you can see the lights that are far across the city, which we couldn't see before. Now, you can see a woman walking her dog in the shot, another example of more animals in the game. Just to skip a bit, because this is just some general things, nothing too fancy about those except the improved graphics. Here is a very impressive shot taken near Franklin's aunt's house. As you can see, there is a ton of more pedestrians in the scene. And if you look closer, you can see a cat roaming the streets. And if you take another look, you can see a vehicle with the new underglow modification that will be coming to GTA 5 on PS4 and Xbox One. This next scene is a sign of far more traffic density coming to GTA 5. Another example of the new draw distance improvements that have been implemented, you can even see a few trees on the Fort Zancudo mountain. New improvements to weather, the rain looks absolutely stunning as it hits the concrete and it also affects the shine that vehicles have, giving them a bit of a glossy look. And this scene also shows that the traffic density again has been increased. Here is probably one of the best and maybe most unnoticed parts of the trailer. Look at the improvements to Michael's character model and especially look at his gun. You can see the individual bullets as he loads the weapon up and the weapon itself is pretty impressive looking and detailed. You can even see the safety button and the automatic slash burst fire capabilities. The trailer ends with a nice shot of a Vaca and a pair of Banshees. It looks like it's from a race in the single player, but if it's not, it's possible that we will see vehicles in the wild with some modifications as you can see the spoiler on those Banshees. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed that in-depth look at the most recent trailer we have for the PS4 and Xbox One versions of GTA 5. That's actually the official trailer and it's gotten me pretty amped, especially with that trailer previously about the first person mode. What I want to know guys is are you picking up GTA 5 for the PS4 or Xbox One? So be sure to leave a comment below with which console you're picking up for and which feature you're most excited for. As always, don't forget to press that subscribe button. I'm going to be having a ton of new content coming out on the Tuesday and the days following. Just all the time, some awesome GTA content for you and some other great games as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.